Hey, welcome back, Knife Nerds and Everyday Care people. It's uh, your big connector here coming at you with another knife review. And um, this one is special, folks. Uh, this is the uh, Spydeco Capara, Capara, uh, you know what, uh, a CQI uh, version. Now, the CQI version gives you a... Um, an enhanced pivot here with a pivot bushing over top of that that makes this knife extremely smooth. So let's kind of go over the the specs of this particular one and let's uh, let's have some fun with this one. All right, uh, because it is nice. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my dogs in the background barking, but I do want to take this knife and execute my little dog. <clears throat> All right, I don't. I'm just kidding. All right, uh, overall length, 8.25 inches. So it puts it at a really, really nice size. Uh, your braid length is 3.6 inches, which is a little over three and a half, which seems to be the best, I don't say the best, but it seems to be a great EDC size. When you're looking at about three and a half inches, that seems to be the, the type of uh, blade that uh, does great cutting, uh, handles all your EDC tasks, and um, doesn't seem to be too super murdery. When you start to get over that four inches and you pull out that in a crowd, people seem to go, whoa, what the heck has that guy got the sword for? Whereas, you know, the three and a half, they can see that it is a pocket knife and it's got a use other than <laughs> stabbing them. All right, uh, your blade width is uh, one inch uh, wide and your braid thickness is uh, 0.11 inches which let's go over that. I do believe that is less than um, uh, three millimeters, but let's uh, find out. Uh, it is, yeah, 2.7 millimeters. So it is a little less than three, which is, um, which makes this a wicked slicer. Now, you don't want to have a knife to be a pry tool, but uh, this one is especially not a pry tool with uh, less than three inches uh, blade thickness, but it is an absolute laser beam. This came out of the uh, factory, uh, out of the box, uh, so close to hair whittling sharp. Uh, or sorry, uh, not hair, yeah, hair whittling sharp. Uh, you know, I took it out of the box, you know, I, I, you know, I gave it the old sharpness test, the you know the old uh, Carter sharpness test, and I thought, wow, the, those guys in Taiwan are doing a fantastic job. I stropped it for maybe you know a minute or two, and then I went and got a piece of my wife's hair from the from the bathroom, and uh, it was a hair whittling both ways. So hats off to the guys out in uh, Taiwan. Um, the Tai Chung plant, they do a fantastic job sharpening and the fit and finish on this knife was smoke and it was awesome. Uh, now your blade material is a CPM S30V. Ah, you know what? S30V is, you know, it is the first steel that was designed for the cutlery industry. So it, it's got good all around characteristics. You know, it's, it's fairly tough, takes a great edge, easy to sharpen. Uh, it's very stainless. Um, and it also uh, holds an edge very well, especially compared to what, you know, what was out there in the past. Now, you know, if you're like me, who's a knife snob, which, you know, I'm a total knife snob, I, 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 I totally and freely admit it. But, uh, you know, back in the day, you would get some crazy, you know, steels out there that, uh, you know, you know, the buck 110, you know, the 440 steels and stuff like that. That's what we had. And this is light years above the, you know, the steel that we had 15 years ago. But because there's such crazy steels out there, we seem to sometimes maybe turn your nails down on a little bit. But CPM S30V is a great, is a great, great um, steel. So she's uh, got the drop point blade, fully flat ground with a satin finish. Uh, really, really nice finish. I wish they would bring back, especially on a knife of this uh, caliber, because uh, the uh, the uh, carbon fiber on this blade, and we'll get to that, but uh, I love that um, Schlich Bowie mirrored stonewashed uh, finish on, on, on a blade. I wish they would do, do more blades like that because it is such a great, blade finish and i just wish they would bring that back in more knives um i also really like the fact that when you do a finish like that it rounds off these ends uh that i'm not sure if it's just a tai chung factory or what but uh this was a really really sharp spider hole and i took some sandpaper and kind of you know put took the edge off it a little bit but when you got that stone wash 
uh, it really does that for you, knocks off those edges. So that was the only knock so far that I found on this out of the out of the box was that this spider hole was a little bit too sharp. All right, so now the weight here is 3.4 ounces, uh, extremely light, um, extremely light enough, but uh, not so light that you feel like you're not got in your pocket. You can tell it's in your pocket, but uh, you're not. It's, this knife can go in your slacks it can go in your jeans it can go into a pair of sweatpants without dragging down your uh without dragging down your pocket giving the old pocket sag um all right so now she's uh left or right hand to carry with of course the best clip that spyderco offers really really close to being you know a deep carry clip just a smidge is sticking out of the back here um, and it is like a left or a right hand, but it is only a tip up, which I'm okay with that because I love to carry tip up. And of course, you've got uh, the good old compression lock here, which is, I think, one of Spyderco's most impressive uh, feats of engineering, as well as the fact that it's extremely fun uh, when you're messing with uh, the good old spider lock. Now, the nice thing about the uh, the spider uh, the compression lock is you can close it without getting your fingers in the path of the blade. And when this knife here, because this knife is so sharp, you're gonna wanna make sure your fingers aren't in the way of uh, of the uh, the blade when this thing is closing, because it is, uh, it is definitely um, drop shut. Now this uh, knife here was designed by uh, Alistair Phillips out of Australia, who has got uh, a model that's very, very similar to this called the Redback. And of course, you see here, we've got the red G10 um, backspacer. Now, Spyderco decided to go with a little bit darker uh, G10 than uh, the Alistair Phillips version. The Alistair Phillips version was designed after the red back spider in Australia, which I guess is quite the, the poisonous, uh, you know, kick you in the ass uh, when it bites you type of spider. And um, this one here uh, is darker. You can buy an aftermarket uh, Alistair Phillips backspacer spacer to give it the more of a brighter red color. And uh, I think that's about 38 bucks. Uh, I don't know if you need it. I think this is a really, really good looking uh, backspacer. It's a good looking knife all the way around. Now, he actually designed this knife to be kind of an all around EDC, but lean more towards kind of the food prep. Um, it's shaped almost like a Santuco knife. It's not quite flat. It's got a little bit of a belly on it too as well, but uh, it's just that designed to really kind of cut into, this, prepare some food. So uh, because it's designed to prepare the food, I, I'm also wondering why they didn't go with the LC200 steel on here, like the Spidey Chef. This is a knife that's along that, uh, along that vein because you don't see jimping all over anywhere at all. So, I mean, you're not gonna use this knife to, I guess, hey, you can use it for whatever you want, it's your knife. But like I said, it's not designed to be kind of bearing down to cutting, you know, six inches thick of something where you're gonna need to squeeze this as, as hard as you can go. Uh, it seems to be more of a, a I'm gonna say lighter use food, um, food uh, prep type of knife. Um, and the one thing here I gotta say though, about this uh, fully, uh, this um, uh, carbon fiber is it is g absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is, and it feels wonderful too as well. It's very, very, you know, it's, it's extremely smooth. And of course it is a little bit slippery, but it's just, it seems like it's a very warm knife. I, I don't know if that translates to it. I mean, sometimes you'll you'll grab a knife and you'll feel it and it's, it's cold. Um, and it's just got that cold, sterile feel. This knife does not give me that feeling. It's extremely warm, uh, extremely welcoming in the hand. Uh, the ergonomics on his is fantastic. You've got a little bit of a choil here that you can choke up on if you'd like. Um, or you can choke back on it. I'm a pretty big guy and I got lots of, lots of handle here for full four fingered grip. And I've also can choke up on that too as well. So great job done by Spyderco and um, Alistair Phillips for the design. Doesn't seem like it's a design to, uh, <laughs> when you first look at this knife, it's got a little bit of weird kind of hump, hump there and it's kind of got a little, a uh, hump there it, it just doesn't seem to be because some knives you look at and you're like wow that's a great looking knife this knife to me is not like a first thing you look at open up the box wow 
it's not a great looking knife. You know, it's an okay looking knife. It's a good looking knife. But where you start to see wow with this knife is when you take it and you put it in your hand and you go, wow, that carbon fiber is beautiful. And then you go, wow, that drop shot uh, action is beautiful. Wow, that fit and finish is beautiful. Wow, that red backspacer is beautiful. Wow, this design when I'm cutting something is beautiful. Wow, when I cut through that cardboard and it zips through like a lightsaber, wow. That's what you're saying wow on this knife. Um, you know, small things too as well. Ooh, this this pivot here, gorgeous little kind of, looks like a little tri-design pivot. Um, takes a TH, I do believe, and these back two are T6s. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I have, I, I'm so impressed with this carbon fiber. And you know what? Uh, you know, it's got a little bit of a kind of a rounded, uh, a little bit rounded on it. So something that I would definitely, definitely buy again. Fantastic, fantastic knife. All right. So made in Taiwan. Alistair Phillips design. Scale of one to ten. I'm giving this a nine. Um, just because of the fact that it, it is gives me wow so many ways. Um, it, it, it is wow. Uh, you know, I, I, this is a recent, recent uh, knife that I've put in my pocket and I have to tell you, it is very rarely left my pocket over the last, uh, uh, couple weeks or so. It is the one that's in it every single day and, uh, for good reason. Now I, uh, sorry here. I, one thing I do want to mention that it does not come with a sharpening trial. I actually put that sharpening trial in there because I like, you know, I think it's a simple, easy thing to do, and it just makes sharpening your knives so much, uh, so much nicer. And I also put a mirror polish edge on here too, as well, because uh, hey, I'm a little bit Dana that way. I like to have the the old mirror polished edges. And like I said too, maybe one of these days I'll kind of bring that edge back to uh, say maybe a 12 or 15 degrees, just to make this thing a super slicer. But hey, with its really thin grind. Um, I just took whatever the uh, Taiwan uh, angle was, uh, copied it, and just mirror polished it, and it was really quite easy and simple to do. And uh, great job on this uh, for the boys in Taiwan and the boys in uh, Spyderco. All right, so yes, I definitely would recommend this 9 out of 10 knife. Uh, it's something you should definitely put in your collection and in your pocket. You will not be disappointed. Now, just want to say thanks for stopping by. If you like what you heard here, please give me the like and please subscribe. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I want to grow my channel and grow my voice. And that happens with uh, you folks out there uh, by giving me your support with your thumbs up, your click and your, uh, su your subscription. So, all right. Remember to stay safe out there. Keep your stick on the ice, the shiny side up. This is the Big Connector saying adios.